Okay, so now you've got the concept of the personal hedgehog under wraps. Let's talk about the business hedgehog. I don't know if you have um, ever seen the TED talk by Simon Sinek, uh, where he talks about the golden circle. If you haven't, you absolutely should. I also recommend, by the way, that you check out Jim Collins, uh, his website and a couple of the links there. Uh, he was the author, as you know, of the book Good to Great and the person who really took this hedgehog concept and um, explored it and developed it as one of the differentiators, one of the things that made good companies or differentiated good companies from great companies. In Simon Sinek's talk, he makes the following point. He says that people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And he says, the goal is not to do business with everybody who wants what you have, it's to do business with everybody who believes what you believe. And he uses Apple as an example. He said, we don't buy an iPhone or an iPod or a computer from Apple. They're what? We don't even buy their functionality and their elegant design and so on. They're how? He said, we buy their disruption, their challenging of the status quo. They're rebels. We buy their why. Give me an example. If I told you that Apple were going to bring out the iCar next month, what would you say? I know what my reaction was. I said, can't wait. It's going to be awesome. It'll be different, it'll break the mold, it'll work for me, the consumer, it'll be, can't wait. If I told you that another major software or hardware company was bringing out uh, an iCar, like Microsoft or Dell, what would you say? Get the point? It's interesting. Apple, we happen to buy a piece of technology from Apple. We could buy anything from Apple because we buy into their why. We buy computers from Dell. We buy software from Microsoft. Different place, different things. If you want to be working from the um, inside out, from the why, how, to the what, and create something remarkable, you can't work from the what, how, and why. We sell computers. They have a more powerful processor, they have a nicer camera. Buy one. That doesn't work. And Simon Sinek says it very, very well in this clip. What you have to do is you have to sell a passion, you've got to sell a dream. Now, obviously, to do this exercise, you have to understand what your why is, what your passion is. You have to understand what your talent is. Why can you be world-class? What's your how? What can you do that's absolutely incredible nobody else can do? And uh, of course, you have to understand your economic driver. The actual things that you sell at the end, they make profit, make money for you. So, ready to do the exercise?